wonderful people what's going on hope you're doing amazingly well and staying safe and healthy today i have for you a zero to one hundred full glam <laughs> so we've gone from completely nothing at all which is what i've been like for weeks on end and this is the first time i think i've put on a full face in weeks i can't remember the last time i did this i've just gone for a bit of brown smoke because that's my classic i absolutely love it if you can it would be amazing if you could subscribe to this channel like this video if you enjoyed it at the end hope you enjoy this zero to 100 full glam video and without further ado let's get into it Okay, this is so weird. I have not filmed a makeup video in such a long time, but we're ready and we're ready to go. And my hands are already dry and horrible. Oh, problem when you hand wash so much. Okay, so I have just primed my face. I used a MAC primer, I believe. Now it's time for foundation. So I'm gonna mix two together. So they're both by L'Oreal Paris. How do you say Paris? Is it Paris? 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 L'Oreal Paris? something like that so i'm gonna go in with these two one is the infallible 24 hour and the other is the true match super blendable foundation they are both in the shade sand just for full coverage i thought it'd just be nice to mix both of these up so let's get going i feel like i'm gonna be like tiger king with these stripes going on <laughs> who has watched that documentary it was weird but at the same time i couldn't stop watching it <laughs> i started watching it and i thought i don't really get the hype of it all and then i watched the end of the second one and i thought right so i gotta watch the third one and then i needed to watch the fourth one and so on it was interesting but at the same time it was just really weird <laughs> it's actually quite nice to just get back into it today and practice because this might go completely wrong i haven't done makeup in so long but you know what i just thought today why not just have a bit of a play around see what we come up with concealer next i'm gonna go in with my trusty instant age rewind from maybelline i love this concealer it just feels like even though you get full coverage it doesn't feel there's a lot on there it feels quite lightweight i've been doing quite a bit of my fitness stuff so if any of you follow me on instagram then you'll know that i do fit quite a lot f double i t the um, app program at the minute and I'm just doing a challenge on there and it's so good I love the fit app it's just amazing if you've never tried it before they've got a 14 day free trial and then you can still continue to go free or pay monthly if you want to do more classes and whatnot have more access to things I'm doing workouts four times a week now I do them first thing in the morning and it just boosts me up for the day and I absolutely love it I finally started my scrapbook there's been some time obviously in the past few weeks so I've just been able to just go ahead and continue with it and yeah I absolutely love doing it it just helps my creativity side of things because I love doing creative stuff and being creative and whatnot obviously my assignments that's still going on I've got until the end of May we're in middle of April now I've got until end of May to do I think it's like three is it three formal assignments and then I'm done I will hopefully have graduated with a BA, so go me, go me. <laughs> so yeah, not long to go. One of them is my dissertation, so that's going to be really long. But yeah, we're getting through it and yeah, we'll get it done. It'll be fine. So I'm going to move on to contour next and I'm going to be using the Infallible Stick by L'Oreal. It's a foundation sculpting stick and it's in the shade Ebony. I haven't done contour in ages, so I'm excited for this. I do like a bit of contour, not gonna lie, it's just nice to have a little bit of shading. And then, <clears throat> oh, my voice went funny then. And then, and then we're just going to blend that all in. See, this is probably where I've gone wrong, putting too much on, but never mind, we'll work with it. I started playing Sims yesterday as well. I used to love playing Sims years and years ago. I had it on the PS3 and I absolutely loved it. And then when I saw that they were doing 75% off on the Origin website, I thought, yep, got to be done. And I played on it a bit yesterday and it was just so much fun to just be playing that for a bit. As sad as that may seem, but it just relived a bit of my childhood again. And as I've always learned, the key to a good contour is blending. Well, little amount in blending. Don't do what I did and put on a lot, because then it just takes ages to blend out. But it doesn't matter because we've got all the time in the world. So 
so it's fine. I just like playing with makeup and putting it on and then releasing my badass self. Oh, okay, speaking of a badass, I recently put up a post on my Instagram in like how to unleash your inner badass. Anna badass? <laughs> how to unleash your inner badass. It's kind of something that I use for myself. It's basically another way of saying like the best version of yourself, like the don't care, living your life kind of thing. And I had a moment yesterday, I just saw something that I didn't really want to see, but unfortunately I did. It was my fault because I went and did it and I shouldn't have. I saw it and it just really got me down for a while. I was just like, oh, why did I go and do that? It was just one of those moments where I just felt really low and then I just put myself in a really down place. But then I thought to myself, no, I'm not letting this win. We're not doing this. We are not taking 10,000 steps back after you've made 100 really great steps. So we're not doing that. So what I did is I went out for a walk. I chatted to my mum because she's the best person to chat to about these sorts of things and really help with dealing and talking things through. I came home home, I ran a bubble bath, I had some of my chocolate easter egg, I put on a song to help through it and it was Little Mix's breakup song. What a tune that is, I love that, love that. I just felt amazing after, like I just felt incredible. This thing just came over me and I just thought, you know what, this isn't going to beat me, I'm not going to let it beat me. So what you do, you just literally do things that make you feel amazing, that make you feel incredible and make you who you are, your best self because you deserve to feel so worthy, you deserve to feel amazing about yourself and really take care of yourself and just feel happy and good about yourself. We all deserve to have that and that's what I did and you know what? I felt so much better after. So there you go. I'm going to go in with the Imagination palette next and I'm going to just set the contour cream with some of the shades here just to set it all together. You know something else that I wanted to do as well? It's in the making, but I wanted to film a TikTok video because I saw a video online of Jessie Nelson dancing and I thought I need to do it because she looked amazing, she looked fierce and anybody that knows me knows that A, I love a challenge, B, I love a dance and those two mixed together, you just gotta do it. That's what I'm planning to do at some point, maybe today day looked amazing she looked amazing and i could just get that sense of like badassy thing going on and i just thought oh, yes let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do it you see this vein that i got popping you see it popping that vein is popping we're gonna do brows next i'm gonna go in with my unbelievable brow by l'oreal and one as well for not really changing my makeup products that often like if i find something that i really like i tend to just stick with it unless new things come out that are worth trying then i don't bother <laughs> Then that is, you know, it's a good thing really, because if you find something that you love and works for your skin and just works really well with it, then why not just stick with it? Obviously it's good to try new things, but I just enjoy using what I've got. And I think as well, like I am i don't use makeup enough to like have a lot of stuff. Before I used to think, oh yeah, you've got to have a whole collection of this, you've got to have X, Y and Z to have your whole collection, but you don't really. But as well like I love playing around with different products I love seeing where things end up the thing about my brows as well I don't like them like you know like really thick I like them looking quite natural so I tend to just put a little bit on and then just continue blending out Problem is as well at the minute, like motivation is really tricky. Today I found it a bit tricky to get out of bed and do my workout. I did it in the end, but sometimes you just think, oh, wouldn't it just be nice to just have some time in bed? But then at the same time, I think, Sophie, if you don't get out of bed now, you're not going to get your workout done and you're not going to be supporting your best self. So get on and do it. But that's the thing though, like there's different things that help people at this time. One thing that I do or one thing that somebody else does doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna work vice versa. I think it's just doing what you feel is best for you at the time. There's no rush on anything. There's no right or wrong way to feel within these circumstances. And just doing things for you really and whatever works best for you. Keep in contact with people and make sure you try and get outside a bit, even if it's just for 
a little while just make sure you have some chill time make sure you're doing things that you like doing yeah just this just different things like that really i just don't think people especially at this time should feel pressure to have to be a certain way or feel a certain way it's just the way it is if that makes sense don't feel like that you have to be doing x y and z every day you don't i know i've got some like really great tips and advice so if you want to go and watch that i'll put the video link down below just to give you guys a bit of support because we need to like support each other as much as we can within these circumstances that's me brows done pretty much that all we can move on to the eyes i'm going to put some concealer on first this is the infallible concealer by l'oreal i quite like the infallible range i'll put it all over the eyelid underneath as well i think i want to go for a brown smoky eye today because that's my <laughs> initial thing i mean i love doing brown smoky eyes i just Feel like it makes my eyes pop it just it's a look that works really well for me we'll do it as if i'm going clubbing there we go just so it's a bit out there and a bit more in your face trusty tea based bonbons palette we are going to be working with sun transitions first using these two colors up here just to build the base up literally after this i'm gonna have to put breakup song on because it's in my head again what was the last makeup thing i did video wise but i can't actually remember <laughs> it's been that long no to be honest i think it's just been because i'm quite a variable person there's different things that i like doing different things that i like exploring with i'm just gonna go in with mocha the shade here there's different parts of me like originally i enjoyed doing makeup just solely doing makeup stuff and then it got more into vlogging and then it got more into fitness and then just different aspects of me started building up and then i got into mentality stuff on my end with mentality series because i'm quite passionate about mental health and supporting people and giving advice for not necessarily the actual disorders but the things that underlie them things that can trigger them or enhance them like make them 10 times bigger as i think mental health is it's a bit like a tree so you've got all the disorders in the leaves and the tree branches but then below you've got all the roots in the ground so the things that make up all those things and so far i've talked about different things i've talked about self-love i've talked about obviously the self-isolating at the minute this empowerment mind over matter just different things like that and they're just really nice chilled out videos to look for and just to have a bit more of support so if you are somebody that struggles with mental health or just finds comfort in watching those kind of videos and I would recommend having a look at my Let's Talk Mentality series just because it's a really nice place to be, it's a nice place to know that you're not on your own, like there's other people going through it as well and just finding a way to support yourself with it and a way to really be comfortable with it and know that you can tackle it and you can support yourself with it. So definitely go check those out when you have time to. So I'm gonna go in with Bordeaux which is this really, really nice dark, dark chocolate shade. I'm gonna start working in the crease a bit. I just see all these looks on Instagram and Pinterest and I think, oh, like I'd love to do that. Because even though I feel like it looks quite bold, like when it comes to taking photos, comparing it, I know you shouldn't compare anyway, but like looking at different people's ways that they've done things, you think, blimey, like her mind's like minuscule compared to like what they've just done. Just got our own way of doing things. We learn in our own different ways. I definitely feel like that I'd like to be a bit more experimental and work with a bit more colour. I don't really have a colour palette now. I did have one, but I don't think the pigment was quite enough. I needed something a little bit more than that. Maybe that's something that like once I've done my assignments and I finished third year then I can look into investing in a bit more you know this side of things and maybe just play around with things a bit have a bit of fun at the end of the day that's what these things are all about it's just having a little bit of fun a little bit of what makes you happy really and what you enjoy doing that's what it all comes down to at the end of the day and that in a bit more I like how this is turning out but yeah any makeup gurus you follow any people that you find inspiring like anybody at all like let me know because there's obviously a range of people that i follow on here 
I'm always looking to find other people to follow just to get to know people more because I feel like you've got like people that are very big already and have been doing this for a long long time but it's nice to just meet people that are just starting out or are in a similar boat in that and just having a time just to put out what they want to content wise and I want to meet more people like that <laughs> so let's go in go in 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 let's go in with another colour from this palette mm, I think I'm going to go with dark truffle in the corner and we're just going to darken that crease a bit more I think probably my favourite people watching on here Imagination by far I love Imogen, she's just amazing. She's just her best self, like nearly all the time. But she's also vulnerable. She puts out content that's just a range of things. And I feel like that's where I relate to her quite a bit, just because I'm quite variable in things that I do. So it's just nice to see somebody that does the same. And Emily Cannon, I follow. Rachel Leary, I follow Nikki and Gabby as well. I like that. I like their videos. I know like, some of them aren't really my thing, but sometimes I just, I end up watching one and then I watch another and then I watch another and they're just quite funny to watch as well. Makeup Junkie G, that's the one. I watch some of her stuff as well. So yeah, there's a range of people that I follow, but it would be nice to just have different people to watch, just to have like a range of things. So if you do know people, different people than I've mentioned, let me know. Blend it in a bit more just to ease that transition a bit. Okay, so I'm going to go in with another Too Faced palette now, another trusty one that I use. So I want to use Classy and Sassy for my lid. This is probably what I would do for a normal like night out. I just think you can never go wrong with brown smoky eye. I think that's why I do it so much. As well, I'm not very experimental, but I would like to be very experimental. Very experimental. And then just make sure I pop. Like, look at that. Silky Louise. That part's done. That's quite quick, actually. How to manage that. But one thing I will do just before I go onto my. What's the word? Liner. That's what I was going to say. I'm going to put in a bit of highlight in the inner corner. I'm going to take satin sheets from the Bon Bon's palette and then just put that in my inner corner. And that will just give it a bit more shimmer because you can never have too much shimmer. Let's be real. Why not? I haven't done in so long, so this is going to be very interesting. So I'm going to use the MAC gel liner called Black Track. This is probably the only eyeliner I've actually liked and that actually works. Who has subscribed to Disney Plus? Isn't it the best thing ever? Because I was on um, Disney Life before and then they were upgrading because it was only $4.99 then and now it's $5.99, so a pound difference. I thought, I can't go wrong there. And I've been watching Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> I used to love watching that on the Disney Channel. So I've been watching that. I haven't really watched many Disney films on there. I've watched a couple of the Disney Channel ones. Read it and weep. It's got um, the Panna, is it the Panna Baker sisters? I watched the Princess Diaries as well. Such a cool film. Like, I love it. I used to be embarrassed about watching these type of films at an older age because I feel like there's always that bit in secondary school where you've got to like older things because if you don't like older things and you're still watching things that are for like younger generations and that. Like at the time I was like, oh no, I still like this. Why am I not liking this? Now I'm just like, who cares? <laughs> if I like watching something, I'm just gonna watch it. I just think that sometimes we just waste too much time in being like, what are people gonna think and whatnot? And I've spent like so much time in that element myself. You know, if I do this, people are gonna think this. If I don't do this, then other people are gonna assume this. And then in the end, you just cause yourself such a headache and it's not worth it at all. Next eyeliner. So I'm just gonna put this on my top waterline. So that's Rimmel Waterproof 
eyeliner and I am just going to use my felt tip super cat eyeliner by soak and glory just to join up all these bits so mascara next I'm going to go in with the ultimate boost eye primer from Rimmel and just do that on my lashes just gives it a little extra boost so when I put my mascara on top my lashes look a bit more fuller. Then I'm going to go in with the Bambi Eyelashes by L'Oreal and just go over, I just put that lash primer and fill those lashes up. I'm just going to go in and put some shadow just underneath my lashes just before I go in and finish the finalised bottom lashes and then waterproof mascara next on the bottom lashes and this is by Max Factor 2000 Carolina Youth highlighter I need to highlight those cheekbones I'm going to go back in with imagination I'm going to use this gold one down here slay my life And there we go, it's popping. Oh, nice. Oh, something I didn't do as well was line my bottom waterline. So I'm going to use a brown one. So you still got that brown smokiness and it's just not so, you know, too harsh. So I'm now going to go in with my lip liner. This is NYX Suede. I don't know why I was looking down. <laughs> this is NYX Suede, soft spoken. Gonna go in with Velvet Teddy from MAC and just put that on the top. And there we go. And then just to finish it off, put some prime from MAC. Just to set it all in. Ooh, there's the finished look all done. We have gone from zero to one hundred. That looks so weird, but I just love doing that. Hope you enjoyed this 0 to 100 glam video. Give us a massive thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.